How to be confident around your crush. Super smooth stars in movies and on TV can make it look like wooing your crush is a breeze. However, as anyone who's tried this in real life knows, the process can be a nerve-wracking, difficult one. Don't worry, with a few simple tricks, it's not hard to get over your jitters and have confidence around your crush. Once you're comfortable with this, you can use your new confidence to start turning your crush into something more. Keeping your cool. Be yourself. If there's only one thing you do to boost your confidence, make it this. Try not to fall for the trap of changing your normal behavior to impress your crush. This is a bad idea for a few reasons. First, it puts pressure on you to be someone you're not, which can add to your stresses because it's not something you're used to. Second, it gives your crush a false idea of who you are. This can lead to confusion and hurt feelings when you drop the act. On the other hand, if you're true to yourself, you don't have to worry about keeping any lies straight. This basic idea can extend to things as simple as casual conversations. For example, if your crush says that they love the movie Fight Club and you haven't seen it, don't say, me too, to try to impress. This is setting yourself up for embarrassment if, for instance, your crush asks what your favorite part is. Look your best, but don't obsess over your looks. In the grand scheme of things, looks are only a single, fairly shallow part of what makes someone attracted to someone else. However, putting a little extra effort into your looks can be very useful if it helps you keep your confidence high. Consider spending a little extra time each morning putting yourself together if you know your crush is going to be around. Loving the way that you look in the mirror will help you feel positive about yourself later in the day. However, you'll never want to spend too much time worrying about the way you look. Remember that your crush is most likely to like you for your personality, not the way you look. Stressing out about whether or not you look perfect will only lower your confidence and make it harder for you to act natural when you're around your crush. Use confident body language. The way you carry yourself can have a big effect on how confident you look, and feel. While sitting or walking, keep your shoulders back, your head slightly raised, and your chest slightly stuck out. Above all, wear a classy smile. People are generally much more likely to start conversation with people who appear friendly and open. On the other hand, nervous behaviors can make you look and feel less confident. Try to avoid fiddling with your hair, biting your nails, and similar gestures. Think of him as an ordinary person, not an idol. When you're absolutely infatuated with someone, it's easy to forget that they're an ordinary person. In addition to the things that make them amazing, crushes have flaws, fears, and insecurities just like you do. They are complex, imperfect people, so don't think of them like movie stars or royalty. Instead, try to think of them the same way you'd think of any casual acquaintance. This is especially important if you eventually start a relationship with this person. Sooner or later, if you spend enough time together, you will find things about each other that you don't like. This can be a very unpleasant realization if you have the idea that your significant other is perfect. Don't overthink things. Scrutinizing every single action that you make around your crush or that your crush makes around you is a surefire way to turn yourself into a nervous wreck. Odds are that you don't always choose the perfect thing to say or do when you're around your friends and family, so there's no reason to worry about this when you're with your crush. Ironically, stressing out about every single thing that happens just makes it more likely that you'll make a mistake, so stay cool. If, during a conversation, you find yourself thinking, oh my gosh, why did I just say that, relax. Most minor mistakes will go completely unnoticed. If they don't, your crush may even find them amusing. Most people won't get offended or angry over a minor slip-up. Besides, if they do, they aren't good crush material.